But let me tell you about Karab Amabo. Amabo would be our first homeschooled president. And the first in his family to ever not graduate high school. After flunking out of bartending school, he spent years disorganizing communities. <laughs> I'll wait. And wrote two books, a memoir, Dreams from My Food Court, <laughs> and a policy book, Thinking is for Dummies. <laughs> and what are his policies? Karab Amabo believes we should increase our dependency on foreign oil and shrink the size of government until it only performs the most basic functions, killing Arabs, paying farmers to grow corn, and probing people at the airport. <laughs> Karab Amabo believes abortion should be illegal, especially in the case of rape or incest. <laughs> and he is so pro-life, his slogan is, life begins at erection. <laughs> Karab Amabo pledges to repeal the job-killing health care bill and to implement Amabo Care a comprehensive program that gives uninsured people with pre-existing conditions the opportunity to walk it off. <laughs> Temperamentally, Karab Amabo believes America has had enough of no drama Obama and his measured Vulcan logic, and at the first sign of crisis, Amabo will pray, scream, shit his pants, and fly Air Force One into a mountain. <laughs> And what of the Amabo's family? Karab Amabo's wife <laughs> is a sour, ashen midget whose flaccid arms are so weak she can ba barely do her job operating the deep fryer at Jack in the Box. The Amabos and their two sons go to church every four hours, and they have a meth lab where the White House garden used to be. And perhaps the most important thing to understand about Karab Amabo is he's not exotic or worldly or smart. He just loves America so much that when he says the Pledge of Allegiance, he not only puts his right hand over his heart, he salutes with his left hand and makes the sign of the cross with his foot. <laughs> Which, admit it, folks, is pretty hard to do.